So good morning, active traders, or good afternoon, as the case may be. Welcome to the first of three of our week's Hottest Stocks episodes. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host, coming at you live, straight out of Colorado, kicking the market's ass here on a Friday, February 8th, 2019. How many of you are day traders? How many of you are swing traders? How many of you, like me, can't get enough of this shit and you do both of them? How many of you are day, swing, or both? Type in the word. If this is the audience participation part, this is the part where you type in day, swing, or both. Let me know what kind of trader you are, and I will adjust on the fly my coverage of the week's hottest stocks for the type of traders that dominate. Oh, Karen from another rush. Okay, sorry about that. Whenever I hear rush, I think Getty Lee. Anyway, brilliant song, songwriter and singer. Anyway, welcome to the week's hottest stocks. We've got, a, we've got both. Looks like we've got a lot of boths, a lot of swings, but not a lot of days. we got about, if I, I have all, the, all these numbers is scrolling by here, maybe 20% day, 50% swing, and 30% both. So pretty good eclectic mix. So we'll cover swing trades too. I'll start off with day trading because it's more exciting, but we'll, then we'll go into the swing trades. Anyways, as always, oh, by the way, I did over 4,700 real trades with proof here in the last several months. So I'm a maniac. I love trading. It's what I live for. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about to buy, sell, or hold. And by watching this, you agree not to make actual trades. Learn this stuff. It's tougher than it looks. You may have seen me all over planet Earth. I miss doing the Traders Expos. I haven't done them in a little while. My schedule's been busy. They keep inviting me, and I wish I had time, but... You can watch me or look for my articles in each month's issue of Stocks and Commodities. I'm often the first article in the magazine, which is cool, so thanks, uh, on page 7 or whatnot, on um, my Trading on Momentum column, which I need to get another one in by Tuesday's the next, next deadline. Anyway, uh, you may have seen me do my live seminars in Las Vegas and all over the place. So, anyways... Traders Expo, I've done as much as 4.9 million in trades in a single year uh, and thousands of trades just recently. So if you got questions, let me know. Hey, TQs is going down. That's probably good for my TVIX, eh? Boom, like a rock, like a champ, baby. Boom, where am I in? These are my orders. Oh, today. Timestamp proof. He really trades. Today, these are all my orders from today alone. I'm a maniac. I'm a, I'm a real trader. I'm the, I'm the real thing. I'm not one of these guys who just talks about charts and fakes it. I'm the real I'm the real deal. I take lots of stop losses. I F up every single day. And I learn from the mistakes and I teach the world what I learned from my mistakes and my wins. Anyway, I'm in 100 of these guys from 3755. Let's get out and push and see if TVIX will go up the hill here. We'll see if it gets the bounce. I hope so. The spiders are dropping like a rock, so that bodes well for my TVIX day trade that I'm currently in. I've got, a, I've got a few more orders placed strategically on the way up, by the way, in case this drops. But, of course, it's not because I'm long. Like a champ, baby. Boom. But, wait, there's more. I'll be doubling down. On the way up, I got two more 100 share buy orders in. So I've only been 300 shares total, around 10 grand worth of this guy. But show me the money. On the count of three, say, show me the money. Calhoun in a live day trade, making some money. Boom, filled at 37.55. Where's my next orders? I got one in at 37.95, which is about to hit. Hit it or quit it. What do you think? The next one is in at 38.36. So always scale and position size in. This is one of the week's hottest stocks. By the way, for more shenanigans like this with the Real Money Trader, you might want to join my Trading the Open live room. And we're going to look at some charts here in just a second. But first, a word from our sponsor, which is me. Buy my stuff, BMS, my favorite three words in the English language. Anyway, um, just having some fun here on a Friday afternoon. Real money trade examples, and I show all my wins, all my stops, all my break-evens. I take more stops than I make wins. I make no bones about that, but I take really itty-bitty tight stops, like 20, 30 cent stops on 100 shares. So my, my, my bad trades cost me, on average, under $50. So 
That's how I like. That's how I make my numbers, right? Anyway, you can get with me for six months for just six ninety five. That brings the price down to about a hundred a month, which is a deal because it's real money trades five days a week now, uh, from nine till ten thirty. Often later than ten thirty, but anyway. What are some hot freaking stocks? Well, this is one of them, TVEX. Now, I'm deeply indebted to my longtime colleague, Steve Nissen, the father of candlesticks, because they freaking work and they make me money. I, as a hammer time, I bought the hammer high, ching, flawless victory. I've got a OTO trailing stop in here. If it goes back down, I'm still in the money. If it goes up, I get more money. Either way, I get money. I like getting money. I love trading. I've probably had a bit too much coffee today. I don't know if you can tell. But anyway, my TVX trades knocking them out like a champ. What's been hot lately? New York Times was really good and still is continuing on up. I didn't buy it today. I put in, I think my long trigger was what, 3085. By the way, I put in triggers. If you see right here, these are not trading advice. But anyway, this is where I'm going to go, Larry. So my, my calls for my longs. Uh, Pre-market, these are the triggers I'd posted, 3085 for NYT. So if anyone took that, congratulations. It's up nicely. I'm not in it, though. Of course, whenever I don't trade something, it goes up without me. Pisses me the blank off. Anyway, COTY, long triggers at 935. CLF was 1210. That one would have stopped out. One of my traders asked me about that one, kind of head and shoulders at the top. So that's a boo-boo. NYT, 3085, that's a champ. Mattel 15.7 looks like it's up and down. Canopy growth, it's going nowhere. EOLS, these are hot, kind of, kind of on the watch list for today of hot stocks that have, that have had especially good momentum. You guys is good. For those of you who logged in a few minutes earlier, I mentioned that 28.6 might be a good place to buy. And now I'm beating myself up for not putting on the trade that I told you guys about 20... 10 minutes ago because I, I said that would be a good trigger. But the reason I'm not taking it is because it's in the middle of a trading range. So that's another quick tip. Despite the fact the bullish cup breakout worked like a, like a champ, baby, it's in the middle of a two-day range. And typically the middle of a range, you want to consider it much like a doji. They're uncertain. It's going around in circles. It's spinning its wheels. So this isn't a doji, but the thinking is the middle range, the middle third especially, should be treated with great suspicion and caution. Let me switch over to swing trades for a sec here. It's exciting stuff, right? It's like solving a big math puzzle. We're playing a video game, but with dollars instead of points. It's really good charts here to work with. Snap's been up lately. I'm not a big fan of it, so I haven't bought it. Beating down stocks that I'm more fond of that I were was trading uh, as Pier One Imports as one PIR. Anyway, Snap did a gap. So take that. Let's see, how, how are our other plays going? Let's see. Dish is up. i pull up our most least recent list here. These are the swing scans alerts that my members got. Cron was good. GLPI, Rockstar, CC, Rockstar, INFY, Double Rockstar, SCWX, it's up, but it's starting to go back down again. These are my swing scans alerts for the past week for my members. So congratulations to all my swing scans members. We kicked Wall Street's ass up and down the street yet again, as we often do. Look at that chart. That was my top pick last week for members. So if you're a swing scans member, congratulations. You're up nicely. How much money could you have made? Do the math. CC is another hot chart. INFY, another one. SCWX was, but not so much anymore. So that one may be up and down. <laughs> Other charts here, recent movers. 
I want to see which charts are currently in the process of taking out new highs in a way that makes sense. Now, one thing you want to do as a trader is when you're looking at your 90-day daily candlestick chart, put things in context. And by that, I mean start off with the S&P, but then look at where's the recent buying momentum and what's the overall directional volatility telling you in terms of trade setups. You know, something like Yelp, okay, Yelp, I just noticed that. I had a big day today. I didn't trade it today. Oh, well, ran 36 to 38, so it's got a two-stick run, two-point run in Yelp. We've got a Gravestone Doji here, which is kind of a, not a shooting star, but a Gravestone Doji resistance at 39. But we had a large green candle day, so for that reason, we want to see if we get some follow-on moves. What I like better is a chart like this, like OSTK. A lot of the pot stocks are can the cannabis sector stocks are running up nicely. OSTK has the point range that you want to look for as well, at least one that I like. So note to self, can buy it over say 21 and a half. The range in this guy is 14 to 21, which is important. The most important metric on a chart, the most important thing visually you see, contrary to what technical analysts would have you believe, is not the chart pattern. It is on the right side of the chart. It's the trading range because that's the money. That's where your implied and historical volatility numbers pop. For those of your fellow options traders, those of you who trade the underlying, like I do every single day, you're looking for the range to be large, a nice large range with a consistent trend. That's how you make money potentially as a trader. What you don't want are these cheap two and three dollar pop and drop stocks that that do nothing, that are dangerous. What you want is stocks, at least I like stocks that have big ranges. Okay, box looks good. BOX. Nice big update today. Now, the volume, not really good enough for day trade. I mean, it's okay, and the volatility isn't great for day trade either. It's only about less than a point here. But for swing trade, you're talking something else. The range in this guy is 16 to 24, so an eight-point range. I hope that all of you understand how deeply important to your trading success concepts like position sizing, uh, trade wide, not deep, or as my colleague Tom Sosnoff says, trade small, trade often, completely correct. It's all a numbers game. You throw a lot of freaking darts at the market like I did today, all right? I wonder how my trades are working out. Here's some of my real money trades. I bought TVIX at 37.55. I bought it again at 37.85, another three grand worth. I got filled at 37.95 too. So I've got a few hundred shares in play. And my defensive hedge TQs never hit. So that's good. So we'll see where they go. 38.87 hit. So, you know, I like to trade what's hot. And right now that's been TVIX at least last few minutes. Anyway, as a real money trader, I will tell you, and as a guy who's done several thousand trades the last few months alone, and many tens of thousands of trades the last 20 years with real money trading account, with p &L proof like I just showed, from a real not sim account, uh, you have to look at the numbers. Trade much like one of my longtime traders, uh, Mukesh, had said it looks like kind of more accounting than trading, and that's exactly what it is. Trading professionally is all about the math. The chart patterns have to be secondary. Otherwise, you get screwed on false breakouts or lagging indicators. Well, let's look at RSI and stochastics and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? All I care about is the money flow. And institutional money flow is driven by volume. One thing to pay attention to, especially valuable when you're looking for breakouts in whatever instrument category you're trading, look for increasing volume before you buy a pivot. Like you guys it's been sold down from 200 down to 30. Still doesn't make it a good buy because the volume is thin. Something like OSTK, the volume is moderate. It's on overall an uptick here the last couple of days. Right now, for example, you know, this would not, Roku's not one that I would trade today. One of my traders correctly called it back here and it ran up like gangbusters. So thanks, but. We have kind of a shooting star here, and we've got kind of weak volume. So 
trend alone, one of the quick points, just the educational tip is make sure that you don't pay attention to trend alone, but look at it in context of volume and previous support resistance. But more importantly, look at it from a standpoint of, you know, if you're a professional trader and you're looking at trying to make money out of the charts, which are the exceptional charts, the charts with especially strong volatility that are worthy of and deserving of your capital to put to work. And that's going to reduce the list substantially. You know, always be on the lookout for large green candle days like this EXC day today. Gap fill, right? Gap down to 46, promptly went up to 48 and went sideways. So be on the lookout for large candle days. Now let me ask, what, what are you guys trading? Type in a ticker or two. What are you trading or thinking about trading right now? Now, I trade daily now, uh, and I typically do anywhere from 30 to 50 trades daily now. And the reason is I love trading, and I like teaching people how to trade. But tell me, type in a ticker, if you would, of something that you're trading. I'm interested to see what you guys are, what, what you're all about. We'll go back to the day trading focus list here. TVIX went up, but then it went back down again. So I got my fills. I took the profit. And because I used OTO or the one trigger other order flow, I likely still made money despite the fact that it dropped as I was talking the last couple of minutes. Let me see if I can show a PL example here. So I bought 37.55. And I sold 37.80. All while I'm sitting here talking. It's like, I don't know if you've seen that great card magician, Shin Lim. He's a great guy. It's, a, oh, it's like, roll up your sleeves and show presto, change oh, it's, it's like freaking magic, right? Using OTO order flow. Now, itty bitty, it's still just 100, but I bought at 37.55 for $3,755, and that's 18A. So the flip side of that, the order that filled the cell was 18B. These are real trades, amazing. 18B, and I sold 37.80. So that's 25 bucks, but hey, paid for my lunch, right? So anyway, the point is that using a trailing stop of a 30 cent trailing stop, the 30 cent trailing stop protected my open order flow. So that way I was in the money here and it went up and then the pullback, when I pullback 30 cents, it closed out my trade still locked in a profit while I'm sitting here talking to you guys about swing trading, right? So that's how real trader trades. You want to be as close to bulletproof as you can. And the way to learn at least my own personal professional trading strategies, as I've taught the last 20 years, unlike anyone else in the trading industry that runs a live room, I show real money trades. And I don't do like 5,000 shares of a $2 stock that I front run that's thinly traded like some of these kids do out there. I like to trade small. I trade frequently. And as a member, so many hundreds of people have been with me in trading the open this past year. One of the reasons is I'm the real thing. And I don't make any, you know, make-believe BS about making millions of dollars. Or I turn a $500 account into a million dollars overnight. And you can too. I, I don't do that. I'm very honest. This is very, very difficult. And what I think I can bring to the table is not only real trades, but an explanation from the workstation we work off of each day exactly how it works. And, you know, I'm a guy who's done buku volume, both historically 5 million and 4.9 million a single year. Uh, and 1,200 trades in January. This was as of February 2nd. So as of last Saturday, I did 1,278 trades this year alone. 1,200 trades in January in the first day or two in February alone. So my point is I've got a lot of experience I can share with you. And I'm very honest, I'm very specific, I'm very step-by-step. -step. Hopefully I'm easy to follow and personable and friendly. I like to answer questions, um, which kind of, drum roll please, a ask any questions, you know. But I just made a winning trade, small winning trade, but I like to, you know, trade modestly. That's one reason why I'm still an educator too, is I like to trade small. I, I don't feel comfortable trading thousands of shares at once risking thousands of dollars. My idea of a big stop loss is maybe 100 or $200. Um, 
It may take a lot of them at say 40 or 50 or 20, $30. But the point is uh, I don't want to have any large single thousand dollar stops. So anyway, trading open, I do have a 695 uh, offer here. Uh, that's good till the 21st. And so that gives you almost two weeks. So a week from Thursday is the 21st. I'm old school. I still use a paper calendar, believe it or not. I don't use those newfangled cell phones. I'm old school. And I don't use Google Calendar either because I like seeing visually at a glance without having to pull up a web page. Anyway, the point is you can learn with me for six whole months for a bargain. I used to charge quite a bit more. Uh, and the regular room rate's much higher too. But you can get six months with me for six ninety five. dollars So Works out at just about 100 bucks a month, which is a bargain for all the hours of training or 30 hours of training a week you get with me for only 100 bucks a month, which is a stone cold bargain. I'm the real deal. I trade live in front of you. I explain why the trades are there and I go step by step through everything. It's a very good, professionally thought out, intelligent, no nonsense methodology. You can see why I use tra tight trailing stops because previous support becomes new resistance, right? And so for that, especially at whole numbers. So that's why it's always a smart idea to sell into whole number resistance, right? And if you're looking at other charts, let me not just look at TVIX, even though I've kind of, I've kind of got a TVIX obsession because I'm so good at trading it, but uh, I, I do cover other instruments, obviously, like I have three, six, eight here that I covered for my members this morning. Snapchat, wow, it's finally up near nine bucks a share. It's like, wake me if it gets over 10. IQ, looking smart, going from 19.6 to 21. What do you notice about these charts? They're clean, they're well-developed, they have sharp patterns. And we do cover some of these cheapies, too. But usually they're they're not wonderful charts, so I'm not a big fan of some of the cheapest instruments out there. Even though they show up on the leaderboard scan a lot, I prefer instruments you know, like 10, 20, 30 a share, maybe up to 40. But what we're looking for is consistency. And as a trader, you know, one of my traders asked me about this one. I held off on on it because I. Thought it looked a little choppy, and I was right. This would have been difficult to trade today. NYT, on the other hand, is a much cleaner chart. It costs a bit more, but it's got much superior price action. And as a price action day or swing trader, you know, I got so many swing traders and options traders, as well as regular stock day traders and ETF day traders in my life trading the open room. Uh, we like to cover step-by-step -step sequences of trades, both the initial entry, the initial stop, a re-entry if the first time it gets stopped out, uh, and how to optimize it for an exit at likely resistance areas. For example, I virtually always tell people to tighten in trailing stops as we get to whole numbers because you usually get a whole number pullback. You know, or you know, one thing that I posted on my Twitter feed is we also look for very specific patterns. Let me show you why I bought TVIX at 37.35 yesterday. The reason was simple previous support, new resistance. And I've been running the live room since the year 2000. And there's proof. My who is domain registry. You can look that up on any registrar. I, I've run my day trading university since 99. I'm the first trading university site out there. You can check who is domain registry dates to see. Oh, yeah, Calhoun was first. Everyone else copied, but that's okay. Anyway, widely imitated, never duplicated. I am the original Kenster from Day Trading University. Anyway, I bought here, and there's a PL proof, only 70 shares, and I built the trade on the way up. But I bought there because right there. I always use a two-day chart so I can see the previous day's high-low and open range breakout length, the average volume on open, the overall direction, and where the stock's trading, or ETN in this case is trading relative to the previous day. I even told everyone we should load up the boat right there, and I should have. I only bought 70 shares slightly higher, but I said we load the boat here on a buy because it's right above the previous day's high. And often if you see a gap that fills the gap and it bounces off prior day's high, 
that's my favorite number one pivot pattern. Not something that's sold down sharply into the muck at a two-day low and is trying to struggle back up. Those usually or often will stop out. A gap up that fills that then reverses. That's kind of like a FOMC release day with the one, two, three, the ABC wave pattern. This is a one, two, three, kind of a wave pattern here. A, a wave, B wave, C wave, or one, two, three. The wave here is a bounce off the previous day's high. And that's why I bought it there yesterday. So with proof, all right, that's 211. That's, oh no, that was Monday, I'm sorry. No, settlement date is 211. That's 27. Yeah, that was yesterday. I'm getting tired. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up here soon. <laughs> anyway, some hot stocks. You do want to pay attention to ones that have good directional volatility and buy high, sell higher, right? Or if you do buy pivots, what I'm learning, at least in my own trades, is that it's very good to be selective about those and trade the very best wide range ones at a, you know, at a capitulation point that feels like surely you can't go down any further. And it felt like that here, which is why I bought the 55. And it's still alive and, and cooking here. It may run. I only got 30 minutes left till the bell or till the close. So it may just grind around here. But that was a good play, right? I bought 37.55. Yesterday, I bought 37, I want to say 35. So any questions? And yeah, John, I do have monthly and annual plans. You can... Take a look at tradingopen.com for further details. But the six month is a discount compared to both of those. So it's a good discount of price. Hey, Ben. Hey, good point from Guillermo about a quote change your frame of mind from predictability to probabilities and increase your profitability. I love it. That's a good one. That's smart. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Investors should be fearful when others are greedy and greedy only when others are fearful. Yeah, that's true. That's why I bought the pain here and profited. When it looks like surely you can't go down any further, what are they nuts? That reminds me, uh, I'm a big fan of 1960s TV shows. And if you remember Gomez from the Adams family, uh, that's how he made his fortune uh, on the TV series. You know, somebody would rush in and say, the market's selling, the market's selling. And he'd say, buy, buy, buy. And then he, and so later, the market's running up to new highs. They're running, and he'd say, sell, sell. It's contrarian. It's smart. That's why I bought here. Just saying, with P&L proof. So live trades. It's what I do. I trade. Trade, can trade. If you guys want to learn a little bit about the method behind the madness and how to make this process your own, and how to really isolate, really target in on the charts that have the best breakout potential uh, and the strongest price action of all different price points. I mean, often we have, you know, two and three and four dollar stocks in here. I didn't see any today that was worth the shot, so we didn't have any today. But often we have some of the cheap stocks too for those of you who like those. Um, so anyway, lots of coverage. I hope that this has been useful, and I'll see you guys next time. I wanted to just give you a quick run through with some real trade examples of things that I'm trading right now. Uh, some hot stocks that may be worth your consideration for both day and swing trades and give you a chance to get to know me for the, all of you who are new to working with me. It's a pleasure to see so many of you here. It's a big turnout, so thanks. I think that's about it. All right. All right, well, thanks, uh, thanks all for being here. I'll see you guys next time, and do remember... And if you want, if you're brand new to working with me, I do have a like a $47 month long trial if you want to try out the room uh, for a month. That's at the Trading Open website. If you've already trialed the room or a returning member, which oftentimes I get people who return, they'll, they'll stay with me for a while, then they'll leave and they go try someone else and realize I'm so much better and they come back. So you know, a huge percentage of returning people that come back, uh, you can do this. Normally I make you wait for six months, but... Uh, you can go ahead and do this special regardless of when uh, you've uh, been a member or if you've trialed it before or not. So six months access to $6.95. Uh, or if you want to do a trial, for those of you who are new, you can go to the Trading Open homepage, and there's a link there as well. So anyway, honesty, authenticity, integrity, intelligence. I like to make this work for everyone. So, And I'm a real trader. So hey, what a novel idea. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, again, I thought I, what do you think so far? Is this a good way to 
do a little bit of sales, but mostly I want to give you good value add content and examples of real trades I'm in. Is this something that's, that's a good idea? Let me know what you think, because I thought I'd do a few of these at least and see uh, how they go. I want to give you both strong day and swing trading stock examples, which we did, live real money trade examples, which I did, uh, and give you some tips on how you might want to continue working with me, which I did. So what do you guys think? So far, good comments. Love, love it today. Great idea. Excellent idea. Top notch. Thanks so much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the good comments. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks, folks. Yeah. I'm a big fan of delivering lots of great free content. I don't know if I, I can go as far as uh, I'm a big fan of Gary V, and he says, publish content daily. And I see some of these young guys do that. Maybe if you're 25 years old, you got energy to publish content online and do live streams every single day. Uh, but I trade every single day. That's what I do. I trade. Uh, so I don't really like to make time to publish YouTube videos every day. You know, I'm going to try. Uh, at least recaps or something like that. But in the interim, things like this, I think every now and then if we can get together online and, uh, you know, a community of active, like-minded traders looking for good opportunities out there might make sense. Hey, thanks, Ben. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Raj. Thanks, Joe, Steve, Guillermo. Hey, Mira. Oh, let's see. What do you guys? Oh, wow. A lot of trades you guys are trading. Etsy, Diamonds, Square, Nugget. Square has been good for swing trades, right? I don't know if it was good today. It's a little pricey now. I've been calling it long back when I did the um, the cannabis sector instrument program. I think it was, what, a year ago or so I mentioned this one. So, yeah, Square's been good. A little expensive, though, up here. But I was pleasantly surprised with NYT. It had a, I look at the day before chart, too. It had a really strong breakout, so... I don't know why New York Times is doing great, but hey, it is. So anyway, lots of good charts. You guys have been great. Thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. And get our trades on. So anyways, until next time, trade smart, uh, do well, and hopefully you'll join me in my live room for a little while and look over my shoulder and get some trade ideas and ask you know questions. I'm always here to answer questions and give you good, honest kind of step-by-step step how I would approach whether or not I'd trade something in the first place, if I would how, uh, where the specific entry trigger would be, uh, the technical patterns or hazards that I see in that chart, and really, you know, try and provide value to you all. So thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. And take care. See you next time.